But like once he had me in the corner, like right here, like this, this is when it's hard. Like that, that was math for he hits that every single time. And how did I, how would I get stunned? What's up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we're back with some more CVS2 action all the way from Japan, all the way at Public Big One Arcade. Um, and we are going to play some CVS2, Capcom versus SK2, and we fought against possibly one of the best S Groove players in the world. S Groove is one of those grooves that nobody really uses. It's trash, but this guy, his team of Sakura, Terry, and Sagat. Oh my God, Terry was giving me the work. So if you guys want to see how good S Groove really is um, when it comes from like an amazing player, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell's notification, and let's get in the video. He's S Groove is pretty good. Yeah, but his S Groove is pretty good, as the boss said. But this was definitely the highest level of S Groove that I have fought, because you don't really get to fight S Groove that much. You know what I mean? It's not something you fight a lot. So, th this is like the way he used it was pretty good. I think another, yeah, see, like that, I, I would get a lot of posts like Crouch Me and Punch because he would try to do like uh, S Groove into Heavy Kick, but then it would miss. But like once he had me in the corner, like right here, like this, this is when it's hard. Like that, that was math for he hits that every single time. And how did I, how would I get stunned? Like against. Against Yane, I felt like my Sakura was like non-existent. No, not like my Vega was just non-existent. And this was a, this is already a hard matchup. Like Chung Lee versus Sakura is pretty tough, just because Sakura just has very good buns against uh, Chung Lee. And he was doing a lot of standing light kick. Standing light kick was snuffing my standing medium punch, like that right there. Like it would just hurt me. Yeah, like right there. He was so good at like kind of. Uh, using that like dodge heavy kick so i had to do a lot more like if i know he's gonna preemptive dodge i just walk up grab him like that's kind of what i started doing a lot more okay yeah could, could break my guard yeah past justin needs to do something okay chip him out or something there we go we didn't have to chip him out but i i i, I assure you that was probably stan being punched in the super all right so terry was a huge problem I didn't know how good his Terry was. I didn't know how good Terry can actually be um, in this because like he was doing a lot of interesting things. Like I didn't know I couldn't anti-air uh, Terry with uh, when Terry jumps in with a specific button. Like that button right there. Look at that. It just snuffs my sweep. So it was really hard to like anti-air him um, in, in those situations. Um, also, he was using jumping light kick a lot, which was really good against against my characters. Yeah, that was pretty good spacing right there. Oh, the meaty, the meaty fierce right there. Oh, I could have whiff punished that. Okay, level two. Bro, I can't believe he didn't die there. That's crazy that he didn't die there. Like, oh my god. Look at this. Look at this unfortunate situation that happens afterwards. The unfortunate situation that happens afterwards, bro. Unfortunate situation. Oh, I missed the grab right there. I try to grab him to take him to the corner. Bad trade right here. And see, this is another thing that Sagat players in Japan are really good at. Like usually if I was in like North America and like I hit by a crouching light kick, crouching staying light punch, there's a chance that they wouldn't finish that combo, right? But Japanese Sagats are so ready to finish that those combos. It's crazy. So like they so like they don't really get frustrated because they know once they get in, they win, right? But everyone else would get frustrated, like, man, I can't get in. He's so cheap. Look at this conversion. How does Sakura stun that fast? Like how how I Bro, she's like, yo. Oh, we got lucky there. We got lucky there. We got lucky there. Let's go. Bro, Terry. I don't know, bro. This this Terry was nonsense. Like that was instant overhead. So I gotta watch my toes. He's a ha 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 ha. Like he had like that button was crazy. 
Jump light kick. Jump light kick was snuffing me. A, a button that I thought was useless. My man. Oh, that looked like it could have been a punish, actually. Is it, huh, huh. Okay, okay. I got back up. Bro, he's just dodging. I gotta walk and do wall more walk up grabs. Ah. The problem with Sagat suit body some Terry is that like his his main job as Terry at this point is like, all right, I need to just randomly throw out supers and hit and hit Sagat. Because his supers are safe on block. Right? So like one random like S groove dodge into like punch into level one hits anywhere from the screen. Like there's gonna be some stuff that Yane does, you'd be like, bro, what? Like he does that a lot, right? Oh, I miss my meaty. Like that does good damage, you know what I mean? Yo, Leon with the tier one, thank you so much, man. Japan was great. Like, like that does mad damage, bro. Like, 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 like you know what I mean? Level one, level one. It just does damage. The good thing is that like this is a ratio two versus ratio one at this point, so I have such a huge advantage right here because I could just press big buttons and look just like that to stun. So like if I got if I if I was able to get away from S Groove Terry, the the chance of me winning becomes so much higher. Because it becomes because racial two Sagat, bro, that yeah, racial two Sagat smokes racial one Sagat, like straight up. Okay. Yeah, I go back for the poking game. Uh yeah, that's that's really how you stop S Groove. Is like kind of just like grabbing the dodge. Bro, it's crazy that the trade and he just instantly gets Oki from there. Yo, yo, bro! Look at that! I got, I gotta hold that. Hmm. Yo, I'm jumping. Random sweep. Let's go. I don't have my, I don't have my claw though. Hmm. Punish. Yeah, I jumped out. Just take the hit. Take the hit. Get the claw. I need my claw, baby. Okay. Anti. Nice. I'm looking good. Like my Vegas doing more work. Hmm. Random roll cancel. Like I said, we got a random roll cancel. Here we go. Ooh, chop him, bro. I can't believe that miss, bro. Oh, lucky, lucky grab. Oh, he said jump light kick, jump light kick, jump light kick. He's stopping me, bro. My man was stopping you with that jump light kick. Bro, he was stopping me. He was saying, you not jumping, bro. Yeah, he got the high angle jump light kick. Nice. Good. T bro, I don't know what that was. That was terrible. That was terrible pass, Justin. Come on, man. Play solid. Play solid. Okay, nice dash sweep. Yeah, I, it's so crazy. You can't. I just can't anti him. Bro, look at that. That's so good. My man just does it. Goes. It, are you okay? Bust a wolf. Yeah, like yo. You see, he's so aggressive. Okay, we finally got something. Okay, I missed the grab attempt right there. Bro, see that? That stops my standing medium punch. His crouching medium kick stops my stops my my standing medium punch I, I was like bro he just he's like, are you okay basta wolf uh yeah k groove is 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 uh it's a combination of of garo and samurai showdown bro that does mad damage bro <laughs> jesus christ bro that does mad damage, bro. Bro, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That Terry uppercut move, bro, into Bust Wolf is just insane. That screw Terry look kind of fun though. Like the way he make it sound, he make it look like, like that's kind of like how you're supposed to play S Groove. Is like you find characters that can that are, that really benefits from like the like the infinite supers right situation. I try to roll cancel there, didn't 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 fall for it. All right, there we go. We got random roll cancel. Go for the grab as well, too. 
Yeah, that's safe. Hmm. Okay, what's the what's the Oh I needed that! Okay, we got hits. Oh we got hits. Oh that was bad. We got hits. Oh! Woo! That's the thing about Vega. Like Vega can stop those like long range like pokes like that if he stays out of specific range. Like my goal here is trying to land a random level three if I could. It would really help a lot if I could land a random level three. Just for just because this is all bonus damage from Vega, right? Okay, yeah, let's punish. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to be annoying. What well, Pixel Vega? Pixel Vega is annoying. Damn it. Okay, missed the grab. Oh no, level two! Come on! I needed that. Okay. Yeah, look at that it's trait. It's just not a great anti. -er. Look, see again. I can't believe that crouch meter kick just stuffs stuffs me out. And the instant overhead too. <laughs> Crouching medium kick from Terry. Counters Chun Li's God poke. Who would ever thought? Right? Who would ever thought that was the counter? Level three. That did no damage. It was I wasn't deep enough. Oh, this, this is not bad because this is not bad because like, you know, I took away that health, but he's going to have that, the infinite super meat, the infinite supers now, bro. Yeah. Like, see, I got to hold that. I can't press buttons there. Okay. Good. That was a good hit there. Good hit there. Oh my God. No conversion. Okay, fierce. Mm, fierce again. You see, like you see in those situations, like I mentioned, Japan is so good at converting random little hits in the combos. Hmm. Again, conversion. Oh, bro, he's trying to break my guard. Yep. 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 There we go. Two, two. Of course. It would be 2-2. Two, two. Why wouldn't it be 2-2? Two, two? So, yo. Okay. Ooh, we got lucky there. Uh, yeah, poke poke with that, that stand medium punch. Hmm. Yeah, no, I do. You're right. Anytime I fight against, like, like a K-Groove team that, like, I know I can't beat with my C-Groove team, I'll definitely play A-Groove. Uh, of course, I'm dead. Yeah, Vega never really got a chance to play. How do I win this? Yeah, how do I win this, bro? I'm getting smoked here. Okay, well, there you go. Wake up level three. Oh, my God. He called There we go. Yeah, yeah, I play lame. Gotta play lame against Sakura. Yeah, go for those really hard to defend against cross ups, right? To get to get away. And it does a good lot. It does a lot of good guard damage as well, too. Ah, lucky grab. Let's go, Terry. No, let's go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, that helps. That helps a lot. I stayed on the same side. He didn't fall for it. He was gonna get he was he was willing to get hit by cross up again. Oh my god. Uh bro, my man was ready for the dodge. Oh, oh no. That, oh my god, that was crazy. Yo, my Chung Lee, my Chung Lee did a lot of work though. Ooh. Okay, okay. So ratio one Sagat versus ratio two Sagat. So obviously I'm in like huge advantage in this situation right here. So good. Like see that he's so good with that. 
Yeah, see, I, I can't see in those situations when you see that dodge, you have to respect those type of dodges. Okay. Uh, uh, tiger, tiger crush. Bro. See, now, I'm, now I have to be worried, right? Because he has that level t level three. Yeah, but but he he kept walking to my normals though. <laughs> and we win three two, but it was very it was barely. The ratio to Terry was very scary. Ooh, bars. He said he said that ratio Terry that ratio to Terry is very scary. Oh, that's bars. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys really all enjoyed it. We work really hard and we're just striving to push the best fighting game content that we can possibly put out. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. And thank you once again for supporting and make sure you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.